here is your winner, the Dragon. The Dragon. The Dragon. The Dragon. Here is your winner, the Dragon, the Dragon, the Dragon, the Dragon. Here is your winner, the Dragon, the Dragon.
Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I've always been a huge fan of wrestling and wanted to try it. I just kind of got sidetracked with Hollywood for a bit. I can see how that relates to wrestling, but how'd you end up here? I want to be bigger than The Rock. He was a WWE champion and then became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. I'm going to do the same thing, but better, since I already have the entertainment experience. So you're here to be bigger than The Rock? Or because all your acting gigs dried up? I'm also here to beat up nobodies, like you. We'll see about that. Hey, who are you? First day training here. It's nice to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from entertainment to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, I couldn't wait to get in the ring with you. Yeah, well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from acting or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. You know who else crossed over from a TV show? The Miz. And I'm gonna be way bigger than him. Bigger tool? Maybe. Bigger star? No chance. For every success story, there's a thousand guys that never made it. Like I said, I don't plan on being here very long, but I look forward to making sure you end up in the category no one's heard of. Too late, because a lot more people have watched me on TV than have ever seen you wrestle. Just because I'm new to this game doesn't mean I haven't played the game. Don't test me, or you won't like the results. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. What do you like? My movies? The reality TV? My live streams? <laughs> no. Actually, that old commercial you did where you're stuck on a Ferris wheel and you really have to go number two? <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another line of work too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. Your Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was going to ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. Relax. I was just giving you a hard time. I'll do it. You might need to sell it after you get cut here. Seriously? I'm messing with you again. 
See you out there, Case. <laughs> Messing with me again, right? What do you mean? You called me Case, but my name's Chase. Good one. Oh yeah, totally messing with you. That's me, full of jokes. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
Hey, good match out there. I know you might be disappointed you didn't get the win, but I know I was still impressed. Thanks, but it wasn't really the first impression I was hoping to make. Keep in mind it was just one match. You're going to have a lot more opportunities to impress the coaches in Triple H. I should have faced Chase. I know I could have beaten him. And maybe winning is all that matters. You get some credit for taking on a harder challenge. No offense to Chase, I like him, but beating him wouldn't really mean much. Maybe you're right, but I do need to get in the wing column. Back to the grind tomorrow. Hey, big news! We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Hornswoggle? Uh, no. One of the members of the best version of DX, X-Pac. No offense, but I actually think the original version of DX was the best. Wow. Offense taken. It's funny, Sean always tells me the same thing. You guys were cool, but... Sean and Hunter were the OGs. Okay. What if when X-Pac is here, we had a match to settle this debate? You and your OG hero, Sean Michaels, versus me and X-Pac. I've got two words for you. I'm in. Leave that to the pros. 